morning. It is 10.01 a.m. Sunday morning, Feb February, holy cow, January 19th, I think. Um, and I have Etsy orders to fill and the regular vlog to edit, the chronic pain vlog to edit, um, Etsy store stuff to do, of course, household chores like laundry, but what am I doing? I'm going out. <laughs> um, I'm also working on a YouTube collaboration, uh, hop, a hop, and we're doing, we're doing a Dollar Tree, a Dollar Tree challenge, and, um, I am headed out to go get my stuff for said challenge and film it, so. I did my shopping for the uh, dollar, tr dollar store challenge. Of course, I almost doubled what our allotted $10 was, but I bought a few things for myself. I bought some things I can use as substrates and other artwork. I'm gonna talk about it um, in the dollar store challenge video about what I bought and do like a haul clip and talk about pull out 10 things I'm gonna use in that video. Uh, but yeah, I went over. Anyway, I'm gonna hit Tuesday morning in Marshalls before I leave and I'll be back. I would say good morning, but I think it's after lunch. I got no idea what time it is, just that it's Monday, January 9th, 20th, I think. I was gonna say the 19th. I know it's Martin Luther King Day, whatever day that is. Anyway, I'm headed out for a walk on my own. I'm not gonna use GPS, we'll see if I get lost. I have a load of children's books that I got at the thrift store. I wanna drop them off in the little book house by um there's a creek behind me um in the little book house over by the park while i'm out so i didn't bring lily or anything because i can't hold on to the books and the dog um so she's in the crate at home with mommy and if mommy and polly is want they can take her out for a walk later i do have my brace on my knee so and i'm all uh lotioned up with a doTERRA's deep blue, AKA Ben Gay rub. So it's all good. So we're gonna go get some steps in and then get back to the art room because I had video to edit this morning, which is done. Um, the week's writing for the different groups, which is done. Um, something else, which I can't remember right now. <laughs> I wanna film at least a couple of videos this afternoon and then I have laundry to do and all of that stuff. So Bob is gone for the week in California for work. So I got plenty of time to do stuff. The kids are, are independent grown adults, so they don't need me to do things for them. So it's all good. All right, I'll be back. The garbage truck goes around the corner. Anyway, there's the little book house that's over here by the King City Community Park. And I love to go um, buy a few children's books at the thrift store and then I bring them over here and I put them in the little book house. I love to do that. I do it every month or so whenever I have a chance and yesterday while football was playing which my daughter and I were totally not inter interested in watching at all we went thrifting and one of the things I did was I bought a bunch of books including one a couple of really big ones and one of them is a Winnie the Pooh book so 
I'm gonna finish my walk and hopefully you don't get lost. I'll Always be back. fun to vlog in public and have people look at you like you're insane. So yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> I'll be I think back. I almost went the wrong way. I think I almost turned one street too soon. Hopefully, we'll find out in a minute. Yep. I almost turned down the wrong street. I knew immediately when I got a few steps around the corner that that wasn't the right way. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Tuesday. I almost said Wednesday. It's Tuesday, January 21st, 6.59 p.m. That's right, p.m. I forgot to vlog this morning. <laughs> um, this morning just happened really quickly. I had a 9 a.m. recording for Art Joy of Sharing I had to do. We do it sort of podcast style over Zoom. Um, so we did that for our joy of sharing for art through chronic pain Facebook group um, if you want to know uh, more about the face chronic pain Facebook group um, I do have a playlist here on YouTube and um, you can join request to join the group um, I'll put a link for the group in the description below anyway we did that at 9 a.m. and right before that happened I had uh, business messages and things I had to take care of and Etsy orders that came in. I had to wrap up really quick and <laughs> everything happened really quick. Um, and then um, we did the recording and then we did some more chatting for a little bit. And I, when the mail came in, some more inventory for the Etsy store came in, which I ended up packaging, which led to me finally, after all these years, um, doing a proper inventory spreadsheet on the computer that I could print and then do a physical inventory of. I've done inventory on the store before, but I didn't have like a spreadsheet with names of different products on it. I would just do something on note paper. I know, right? I know better. Anyway, we have spreadsheets now and I did do the inventory and then I updated listings in the Etsy shop and I actually did pull a few products that have never sold that have been in there since almost day one and I think I'm going to just donate them or something I've got a bag in the front room so yeah um, I didn't get much art done I am gonna do I've got my daily drawing bag right here I'm gonna get my drawing done maybe do a watercolor I've got Lily Bean over here on the other side, and then we've got the fireplace going. And my daughter is um, upstairs talking to somebody on the phone, probably Polyus. I don't know. Um, so yeah, quiet, quiet day at the house. It's cold outside, but we're bundled up and we're good. That's it for the moment. I have a doc an appointment with a knee doctor tomorrow, and I have to go mail said Etsy orders that I wrapped up earlier, and stuff like that. So I will be back with you all tomorrow.
Good morning. It is Wednesday morning, February 22nd, I think. I think so. Anyway, it's 9:12 a.m. I am headed over to the doctor's office to have my knee looked at finally. I don't really want to go. It's probably going to cost me more money than it's worth, but I probably should find out exactly what's going on with my knee. So, then I got an Etsy orders to mail and I don't know, I might stop at Joanne's on the way home, we'll see. All right, that's it for the moment, I'll be back. So, chronic pain chat. That was fun, not. So, it looks like I have to be back at three o'clock today. It's 10.44 now. So, I'm gonna go mail the Etsy orders and then go home and have lunch, maybe get one video filmed. Um, they think I have a possible meniscus tear in my left knee, so I need to be back at three o'clock for an MRI to diagnose what's wrong, and then I'm probably gonna opt for conservative treatment of physical therapy and a shot, um, at least to start with, versus surgery. I'm not a fan of having surgery, so we'll see what happens. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I was right. I didn't get any art done. I think I mentioned that earlier. So because I have to go back out to get my MRI. Yeah, I'm not getting anything creative done. Not gonna be able to get started. It's 2.30ish, it's gray and stormy out. I'm headed to go get my MRI, but I'm guessing by the time I get out, it's gonna be pretty dark out. I probably won't get any steps in. I probably, I don't know if I'm gonna get much art done. Uh, the daughter might go out later. So I might try to get some stuff filmed while she's out. I have one page that's sort of pre-prepped and ready to go so I might try to at least get one video film today anyway let's go get the MRI done and get that over with all right and I might just stop it Tuesday morning on the way back and then that's it I think all right I'll be back doctor visits tests and x-rays about my knee not the way I pictured spending my Wednesday I had other things I wanted to do I don't think I'm getting any of them done Dang it. Hey guys, it's Thursday evening. What time is it? I don't even know. 5 11 p.m. January um, something. I have been filming all day today and I got all of February videos filmed. I just need to edit them. So they're all done. So starting tomorrow and through the weekend and however long it takes I'll sit and do all the editing hopefully the camera shots make sense I was in frame all of that stuff so I don't have to refilm anything but I guess we'll find out <laughs> um, last night I um, newly discovered to me a new I think she's a New Zealand artist Lorna Crane I will link her website in the description below she makes um, her own paint brushes out of found objects. There are a couple of videos of her on YouTube. I will link what I can find. Um, totally fascinating, has me thinking about it now. And even if I don't use them to actually paint with and I use them for decoration, I'm fascinated. So that might be the next thing I work on that I'm obsessed about. I haven't made any paper clips in like a week and it's just driving me crazy, but I needed to get a bunch of other stuff done. I have um, the results from my MRI yesterday on my knee. I, have a, I definitely have a torn meniscus, so I am going in tomorrow morning for a cortisone shot. Yay me, right? Um, and then probably I'm gonna have to have physical therapy, so we'll see how that goes. Um, so I was getting all the filming done today that I could, but I got it all done. My, my whole list, well, there's one more thing that needs needs highlighting, hang on. Okay, my whole list is highlighted, yay. All right, and I used a bunch of the new stencils, so I need to actually hang these up now. I have another stack that just came in that I need to share with everybody. There's a quick sneak peek of like the one on top, but there's a bunch of new ones, I think eight new ones. So I need to do that, but it's not, it doesn't have to be done right now. I've got some Amazon stuff that came in. Don't know what that is. I don't probably tank tops and hand warmers for my husband because he has a circulation issue. <laughs> anyway.
And I don't know if you can hear it, but it's raining outside really hard. So it's been a crazy day. It's going to be a crazy week. I really literally just went to the knee doctor yesterday and I had x-rays and an MRI right away. They didn't make me wait. I got the results already first thing this morning. Like they're on it. If I was in California, you know, it, I would still be waiting for the MRI. It would still take two weeks. Yep, Polly is his home. Uh, so anyway, that's it for today. I will let you know how tomorrow goes. Cross your fingers. All right, I'll Good be morning. Back. It's Friday, January 24th. It's 7.37 a.m. Don't get excited. I looked it up already. Obviously, I'm in the car. I'm on my way to the knee doctor. <laughs> um... I got a lot of really good filming done yesterday. I can't to wait wait to start on making a few of the handmade paint brushes, even if they end up being decoration. They look really cool. I wish I could afford a trip to New Zealand and take a class with this artist that I spoke of yesterday, Lorna Crane. Um, love to take a class with her to make brushes, but she's in New Zealand, so that's probably not happening. <laughs> anyway, um, I didn't plan on doing anything else today because I don't know how I'm going to feel after getting my knee injected. So I may just be downstairs on the couch all day. I may go up, I may go upstairs and work in the art room. We'll see, but let's get over to the doctors and get the shots over with. I'll be back. Why do I suddenly smell a mixture of poop and fried food? That can't be normal. <laughs> okay, all done. So the shot wasn't too bad. I think the um, numbing hurt more than anything. That really hurt the numbing. Um, <laughs> it felt like somebody was jabbing you with a bunch of pins. Um, I forgot how, how much the numbing hurts. Anyway, um, I talked to the uh, PA, the physician's assistant, and told her, you know, I pretty, was pretty positive about the core design. We'll see what happens, but I've had it before with good results. So we'll see. I have my first physical therapy appointment next week. Um, which is here in the same building, so I'm just going to go there. I'm going to head home now, finish my coffee, have some breakfast, and yeah, put the knee up and let it sit. I'm supposed to not do anything too strenuous for the next 24 hours, and then I'm good. It'll fully kick in in 2 to 14 days. So, cross your fingers. I'll be back. something like 8 15 on Friday night and I am in the cell phone waiting area again at Portland International Airport waiting to pick somebody up <laughs> this time it is um Bob he's come, Fred aka Fred um he's coming home from a work trip to California today tonight so I am waiting for him to let me know he's landed and where he's at and I'll swing around and pick him up I think I have a, a little time. I think I have maybe a good bit of time. It's probably a good thing I brought something to read because I think his flight was delayed. So that's a thing. But I've got my e-reader, so I'm good. Anyway, my knee is feeling different. Kind of numb-ish. Maybe a little sore feels weird. It doesn't hurt anymore. I'm taking it easy on it. No, you know, strenuous activity, she said. So I was up and down the stairs a couple of times chatting with friends in the art room and get, getting a few things done, but not too much and definitely no walking or anything. So, but hopefully it's feeling okay and I can go get some walking done tomorrow. We'll see. Anyway, that's it for the evening. I will be back in the morning. I'm assuming I'm not checking in with y'all again tonight. But I'll let you know what's up tomorrow. I'll be back. All right, bye. Is it morning? It's 11, it's 12 02. It's not morning, it's just past noon. But it is Saturday, January 25th, I think. We just- uh, I don't know my numbers. 
Uh, the hands cover my numbers. The hands are good. <laughs> Plus they're little. Wait, I gotta use the phone. Hold it. Let me see. What is it? It's uh, the 25th. 25th. I got it right. So we just stopped at the Good Neighbor Center. Here's the card. We took a load of. Um, it's here in Tigard, on Greenberg Road. You can look it up there. Take a still shot. Um, I'll leave their website in the description below. We took a load of toiletries, unopened new toiletries, uh, in to donate. And I talked to the girl, and I found out, yay, they, like in where we used to live in California, take art supplies so for their classroom. Yay! So the next time I do a purge in the art room, um, which I kind of need to do in a couple categories now, um, I can donate it to them. And I have one little bag of stuff now so I can start a box. Yay. All right, we're gonna go run some errands. I'll be back. What are you doing? Look at the water. Look at the water, huh? Look at the water. Look at the stream. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Hey guys, this is for the regular vlog. Uh, we're out walking, got all our errands done today. Added a couple new tubes of tubes. Of, <laughs> I don't know what I said there earlier, and a couple of new tubes of Daniel Smith watercolors to my collection. I'm gonna be working on making one large sort of mega palette of Daniel Smith. I've outgrown the large metal palette I had and my friend Peg Robinson sent me a plastic palette that I, I think I might like that I'm gonna be able to, I think, retrofit to fit all of my paints. So stay tuned for that. I might film some of it. I'm not sure yet, but stay tuned. I'll, I'll for sure share what I did. So stay tuned for that. Um, we're gonna go get our steps in. My knee's feeling okay post cortisone shot. Um, so that seems to be a temporary fix. And what else? I think that's it for right now. We're gonna go home afterwards and have a nice dinner and sit in and got all my paints lined up in a row upstairs in the color order I want them in. I'll put a picture here. So I'm ready to create the palette. I think tomorrow that's gonna be the job. Sorry if, sorry if the camera's a little shaky. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go get my steps in first. First time since Monday, I need some steps. And uh, that's it for today. I hope you all have had a great week. If you want to join my community here on YouTube, there's a join button on my channel's main page. You can do that and get sneak previews of um, video, shout outs, all kinds of stuff. So um, anyway, go check that out. And what else? Um, there's a lot of ways to support the free content here on YouTube. Uh, look in the video description for all of those links and ways you can do that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And above all, go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later.